Oh, hello. Uh, it's 11.30. What the fuck? There's a FaceTime HD camera. Hello? Hello? Oh, I thought you didn't record the FaceTime thingy, whatever it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready, get, get going, and uh, I don't have a lot of time. The milk can't drop me. So I think I'm like, shit. Think about this. Think about this pencil stairs. Like it's like. It's like it really restricts the movement. It really restricts. I'm wearing like a normal. I don't think you can see through. I don't think so. Oh, shitty, I can actually do see through a little bit, but. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. I'm always rushing, 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 rushing. I am rushing. Uh, yeah. um, what was I thinking? I was thinking of something. Oh yeah, a link below to a video by uh, Michelle Starling. It's on gender and uh, gender stereotyping and relationships between men and women and why <sighs> society why it's important to raise children to be themselves, otherwise they'll have a very difficult time. They'll form bad relationships in adulthood. It's a very, very good video. It's a very good, one of the best videos I've seen on gender, um, you know, and then just relationships between women and women. I mean, I found it very informative and very um, useful. I don't know what about you guys. You guys might already know this, but for me, because I really haven't had much experience with relationships, so to me, when I was listening to the, seeing the video, I'm like, oh man, this makes a lot of sense. So for me, it was like a very informative kind of thing. Oh, this is feel bad down there. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Okay, I hate it. <laughs> uh, I don't want that to be silent. Yeah. So it was a very, very good video. I'll link it below. Um, so on gender, so yeah, that's the thing, you know. Like if you don't have a lot of experience in relationships, it's like when everything's, you know, you don't understand. Well, also like a life experience, perhaps. Oh, I fucking hate that. I hate that. I hate that fat thing. I really want to lose my weight, but I've been like really moody and. Not really disciplined this past couple of weeks or month. I don't know how long. Really been sort of not disciplining myself. <sighs> I'm still pissed off at that guy. Oh my god, he's very pissing me off. That idiot. I just can't believe I fell for it. Oh fuck. It makes me angry. Could not believe it. Usually, I thought I actually sent him a message. <laughs> you played me, didn't you? And because uh, I was like very, um, very nice and very friendly and very respectful. I'm like, oh, so, hmm, so you played me. Hmm. He didn't respond. No response. Nothing. Oh, quiet. Oh, quiet. Um. Yeah, fuck. Um. So, hmm. Yeah. Anyway, it's a learning experience. I'm so glad that it happened so quickly. Because imagine if he dragged me along for like weeks and weeks. Then it would be really, really or like, because then the thoughts would have really got stuck in your head. And you would have been like, oh my god. Because he contacted me, I think he... Because I had some videos on my 
profile and just a normal vlog i think i took a bit of the youtube and put it there and maybe he's like oh this one this person looks very uh, <laughs> i could i could do something here <laughs> shit uh, is that enough makeup i think I don't know. I mean, I'm just rushing. I just, I just want to get this thing done with. I'm so tired of this whole process of getting admitted. It's like, oh, such a tedious thing. It's like you got to do all of this, jump through all of these hoops, and uh. I actually got an email from one of my colleagues at the College of Law, one of my student friends, and they're doing some kind of a meetup or something. I didn't go last year. But maybe I'll go this year, and I'll, and I feel like I'll look, or definitely I'll look, I feel like I look much better than when I was at the college. And maybe after being admitted, I'll go out there and oh, I'll, so you guys used to gossip about me. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll get a nice dress and yeah, I'll do a little bit of gloating, kind of revenge. Oh, those little, <laughs> little victories. Oh, these little social victories do count, it seems. I hate this lighting. People know I really hate this lighting. I really hate it. Oh, that. But then everything is so dark, it's like, oh, I barely see anything. <laughs> yeah, so that video was very, very good. I, I when I was seeing it, I was like, holy shit, it's like it really made a lot of sense to me. It really, uh, yeah, really moved me. It's very honest and uh, very good video. Mm. Mm. <sighs> All right. <sighs> bad lighting. Bad lighting. Bad lighting. Bad lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, shaved but far out. I gotta get myself organized. I gotta really get. I feel like my whole life is just so uh, disorganized and like so like unhappy with the level of chaos in my life at the moment. I feel like things are so out of control and I don't have a hold on my emotions and my diet and my. Uh, you know, ex lots of things on my. Yeah, on my job situation and I just feel so many things are like really out of control I really want to like get a, on top of those things I feel so like powerless that's another thing is like oh, I was thinking like if this guy did contact me again I would, I would feel very triggered by that because it's like I would find that to be a little bit abusive yes because he, he did, he made me feel powerless because of the fact that I really believed in him. And then I just, just like, you know, just some people can really get uh, fucked up, like, because of things like this. Uh, I saw an, an X Files episode once um, in season three, and it was like, one of the this character, his, his name is he's a very good actor. He 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 passed away. His name is Peter something. Anyway, he played this devil or something. But this devil, he he um, he was having like a conversation with with his other devil buddies, and he felt like um, uh, he's losing his uh, capacity to cause evil. So what he does is, um, in order to get his uh, mojo back, he um, <clears throat> he befriends this. This woman who's a stripper, she works at a bar, and um, and then he 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 befriends her, and then he uh, 
you know, takes her out and treats her very well. And so she starts believing in him and, you know, she really starts, you know, changing her life. She, she's, she becomes more positive and optimistic. She, she starts hoping in him and, you know, like, look, there's a, this is a nice guy. He, he likes me and he's taking care of me. And then at the, um, at the end of the scene, he's like, he goes, uh, she's like, I don't know. She's like completely, she, she, he goes and tells her, I think you're the most ugly, disgusting person or something like that. He totally like does say something so horrible and cruel. And she was completely like, she didn't see, she, so she didn't see that coming. And so she kills herself because of that. And, um, and the and the devil guy. Oh, finally, I got my mojo back. <laughs> so it was like the, that 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 scene. It reminded me of that scene. Like like how horrible. Like if you can you can do you can really if, if you're not psychologically strong or you know you can I mean it can fuck anybody up. But you know what I mean. Things like this where people lead you on and let you to believe something and then they are intentional. This is a Pomeranian out there. It's a coincidence because in that X-Files season there was a Pomeranian thing, another thing anyway. Um, so it can really, it can really mess you up. I felt, I felt like that. I felt like I was really messed up for a while. I, mean, I, st I still am a bit angry. At, uh, I just can't believe it because I really, really believed this. Now, usually I, f I feel like I'm very cynical and, you know, I'm like, oh, this is whatever. But I really... I just could not believe this. So that's what that, that the fact that I really believed in it was was what really um, really makes me angry and, and it actually makes me feel kind of powerless. So if this guy did come back and contacted me, I would feel very like triggered and somewhat like oh this is another form of emotional abuse. So yeah. So anyway, I don't know. It's just, it's just really messed up. Messed up. Oh, God. Jesus. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, I think you guys have seen this before. I've worn this outfit. Uh, I think I've worn this outfit. Uh, my tummy is like... It's a bit funny. Anyway, so what do I do? Shit, I'm gonna go like. Okay, this is the procedure. There are holy religious books. You can you can you can use your own religious book, or you can just sign an oath. Uh, I'm just trying to find out how do I need to bring an ID or something? Mm. Shit. Uh, mm. There's a person. Oh, shit. Mm. Read photographs, video, and phones. Taking photographs of any type, including mobile phone cameras, is not permitted in the courtroom or for your areas. There's nothing about ID. Do I have to bring a license or something? Sign the role of local lawyers. Write your date of birth. That's odd. Um... Uh, uh, shit, okay. Uh, I hope it's a quick process. It might be quick. Yeah, they don't say anything about uh, whatever. So, um. Yes, let me put this there. Stay 
Okay, so I'm walking through me. I hate walking. I hate walking. So this is how I walk. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. Oh, I like this skirt. It's nice. Um, let me just put it a little bit up there. That's better. I can walk better. Than that, you know. <sighs> yes, I think my hips are sort of, you know, coming, <laughs> coming together. Uh, so yeah. I gotta go. Level forty six. All right, I'll 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 uh, be come back later. Uh, maybe I'll take some video before I go in. Uh, I gotta take this off. Uh, yeah. So that's another thing. I'm wondering, like, really. Oh, I didn't do my morning routines today. It's like, what the hell? Apparently, the the hairstyle I have. Holy shit! Actually, is um. It accentuates your forehead. Maybe I should get one of those bangs type of things. Uh, anyway. uh, let me out this light. Because this light sucks. This light sucks. This light sucks. Oh, okay, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Alright, so. Uh, hopefully it'll go okay. No incidents or some shit like that. Um, uh, okay. Oh, that is me. There is me. Yes. Wearing uh, uh, something. <laughs> uh, I know, yeah, this thing like shit up the bra hair. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go and uh, uh, I look, I look, my makeup is all messed up. Hopefully, not, not many people will take a close look at me. I, I look alright. I look good. I look good. Alright, I go walk, walk to the station. Walk to the station. I'm wearing these. Uh, I haven't worn these in a while. They make a lot of noise though. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'm at the station. God. My makeup looks. It doesn't look that bad from far. I mean, just lighting on. Uh, just walking in these um, half heels or whatever can be a pain. And also, this skirt is like, because it's a pencil skirt, you can't take like big steps because your steps are like little. And it's like on top of the sandals, it's like, oh god, and my leg hurts. <sighs> so <sighs> yeah, it looks the makeup looks like shit, but I only remember. Uh, I should have taken more time, but you know, I just uh, not very organized and uh, would not. But, uh, Shit, some makeup got on my blouse. Oh, I'm so, so trashy. Train. I was probably carrying coal, coal or something. <coughs> anyway, so I'm gonna say that for now. Yeah, I look okay. It's just uh, makeup could be better. I could have put some eyeliner and all that stuff. But yeah. Anyway. Watching the place. I've got 
to go this way. I think that's the Supreme Court there. a lot of noise. That's an old, uh, I've been there too. Yeah, that's a Supreme Court building. Yeah. Alright, so I've arrived at my destination. And I gotta go be, meet my solicitor inside. Alright, I got going, I guess. Okay, so I just finished. Uh, the admission ceremony. It was like half an hour, 40 minutes. So I just uh, had a coffee with my solicitor and yeah so I saw there was actually a book and you have to sign on the book. So that book is called the roles of lawyers or whatever and you just have to sign your name and your date of birth. But they give you the certificate so it was like oh, I'll read it. Supreme Court of New South Wales, be it known that the bad Sati was on the 5th day of September 2016 admitted as a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales with all rights and privileges there unto going or obtaining a witness whereof. The Honourable Thomas Frederick Baptist, Chief Justice of New South Wales, has authorized the seal of the Supreme Court to be here unto a fund unto the uh, fifth day of the September in the year of our oh, 2016. So that's the Chief Justice signature and Another. Yes, now I am. <laughs> I have the privileges and rights of a lawyer of New South Wales. Oh, I just got a call from the hospital telling me that I went to bring my mom over tomorrow for the. <clears throat> No, she's just having a, a, a medical examination, so I feel very shaken up here. Uh, I guess I'm just emotional that I this thing happened to me. And I'm just talking to the camera and people think I'm nuts. So, um, I'm gonna go home. Okay, I'll go home now. I had a diet fail. I ate a banana cake. Obviously, the banana cake has some egg in it. And Shouldn't have done that, but anyway. I mean, 
seem like it really is revealing <laughs> sometimes. So it was a very nice ceremony, you know, it was very formal and, you know, and it was who I liked at my place of work and he doesn't even work there anymore he, he's thinking to myself, now that my name is on the roll of lawyers, how long is it going to be there? <laughs> I was joking with him. How long will it before they strike me off the roll? <laughs> and you can get uh, stricken off if you do illegal stuff, obviously. So I'm very pleased with myself. I'm very happy. Well, yes, you know, there are people's families and all coming and all these people, but <laughs> so that was like, I know it is, but I shared it with my, uh, I shared it with my principals, who I knew, because some people, they just, uh, like, you know, in order to move the admission, they might have brought some person they don't know but I, I brought someone I actually knew and some people like um, what you do is you stand up they say your name and then your mover says I move the admission of this and then the chief justice repeats uh, says like uh, welcomes the admission or something and um, so sometimes you get this, some of the people say I move the admission of my wife or my son or my daughter so i think there were three things like that three people like that. one person said wife i think two people said son one person said daughter so yeah so it's like a family thing anyway so go home and uh, yeah See, try to relax. Yeah. Okay, so it's 5 19 p.m. <clears throat> I'm back at home. Oh, after the oh, photos and so oh, importing from my flower. <sighs> oh, my leg hurts. Oh my god, that's that does sandals. Oh, and I've got this kind of spider wing issue <laughs> oh, I hope I don't get deep vein thrombosis fuck anyway so yeah my face looks a bit thin hey I like that uh, but I'm gonna make some meal to eat hello hello just testing the mic so yeah so I'm just yes yes I could Yes, here it is. Vinyl, thank you, vinyl. Ooh, yes, it is. Oh, I'm just finding the roll number. I've got a number. Mm, yes, I got that. And uh, I should probably frame it. <laughs> I've been trying to frame things. Okay, so this is a letter. Oh, Legal Profession Admission Board. Ah, oh, this is the, the, the letter they get. <laughs> I asked him like, where is my letter? Uh, you didn't give it to me. Uh, so it says, um, 5th September 2016. Dear Miss Sati, congratulations on your admission as a lawyer of the Supreme Court of New South Wales on 5th September 2016. I wish you every success in your chosen career. And this is in italics, your certificate of admission, which bears your unique identifying number. Oh yeah, that's right. Is enclosed herewith, herewith. 
what, why are they talking like that? It, it is advisable to remove your certificate from this protective cover as soon as practicable. Continued storage in the cover can lead to transference of ink from the certificate service to the plastic. I also recommend that you make a copy of your certificate immediately for reference purposes. Oh yeah, how do I make a copy? This is actually a, like an A3 type of paper, it's not A4. Anyway, you are reminded that you can apply to the board at any time for a different type of certificate, namely a certificate of current admission fee $80. Should you wish to apply for admission registration in another jurisdiction, the certificate of current admission certifies not only that you were admitted on a certain date, but also that your name remains on the roll of local lawyers at date of issue. Yours sincerely, right? So, yes. So I got my name on the role of local lawyers um, at the Supreme Court of New South Wales. <laughs> 20 years ago, man, I wouldn't have even dreamed of something like that happening. But also, I did dream about it. Something like that. What I, uh, I was like, way some other place. I was like, uh, somewhere, like, uh, you know. So yes, ah, I am. No, I'm, I'm, you know, one thing I noticed, like, when people congratulate me or something, like, I find, I don't know how to re react to that. And I realized that it's because uh, as a kid growing up, my parents didn't really, they really didn't, like, congratulate us as kids, you know? Like, today, when I came back and I showed my mom this thing, she was like, oh, she didn't really say, oh, congratulations or anything. She just said, so what does this mean? Are you going to get a job? And so, so, and then she's so so. You see, so it's like you, you. It's like you grew up from childhood where your parents don't give you that positive information, so you end up like always trying to please people as an adult or whatever because your parents did not parent you properly. They they should have given you positive information for whatever thing you did, because now when people you know like. When my principal solicitor was saying, "Oh, congratulations on that," I just felt very awkward. Like I don't know, I don't know how to take it. Like when people like congratulate me and everything, I just feel very awkward and embarrassed and shy and like I don't know. Yeah, I feel weird. It's like, are you talking to me? Are you, are you sure you, you're talking to me? It's like <laughs> anyway. So okay, so. I want to just uh, encode this video and uh, get about my day. Uh, and tomorrow I've got to take my mom to the hospital because she's got to uh, have some tests done. And yeah. So, yeah, it was a nice ceremony. I, I really liked it. I mean, I, I mean, I didn't like, I liked the, um, I don't know. I just like looking at the judges. They, they're like they're like these like these really old people. <laughs> like it's like they're wearing these wigs and they were like in these red color robes. They were like two old men and one woman. So you know they've got. They talked about the whole diversity thing and getting more people and they, 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 yeah, the chief justice gave a speech at the end all about all of that. And I don't know. I was just looking at them. Oh my god, these guys are so old. They're like like I don't know seventies, late sixties, like. Man, they, I just I just looking at them. Man, <laughs> I was like so impressed, like just with the. I don't know. I just feel like the people like that are so wise, you know. Like they've got the wisdom thing, and I just feel like. But but actually, the judge was making fun because he used to be a barrister, and he was in his speech. He was like, um, talking about Facebook and all. This. He was making all these jokes, and uh, he said that. He was also sarcastically referring to the fact that, uh, you know, as a as a barrister, he lost cases which he shouldn't have, and sometimes the judge was like he was sort of making poking fun of the role of the judge as well. So it was kind of, he was kind of nice, um, yeah. <sighs> okay, so I'm happy, I'm proud, and now I'm going to try and relax, and I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I can do something good. Maybe, maybe I can do something productive. Uh, maybe I can contribute to society and do something good and useful. Make a difference. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to see. I don't know how, how my future is going to go. I don't, know. I don't know. But hey, I have an opportunity. Let me see what I can do with it. 
<sighs> All right, I better chill out. I better chill out. Uh, uh, chill. Okay. Five fifty-three p.m. I'm still trying to edit that video. When I'm editing. I'm like uh, because I took a video when I was out there and lots, lots of people. So I'm like I'm trying to get rid of all the shots with people in it. Well, I'm trying to. I don't like. I don't like putting other people in my videos. I just don't like it. <laughs> I feel like it. it and I just. I don't feel comfortable with that. I feel like it's an invasion of their privacy. Even though it's a public space, I still feel like... So I'm trying to cut those uh, parts out as much as I can. I also wanted to... My hair looks... Okay. Uh, I just I have to take care of my hair because I don't want it to fall. I have to eat proper food and... Anyway, yeah. Anyway, okay, yeah.